One. Two. Three. Oh, it's stuck in my arm! It's stuck in my arm! Hidden within the darkness of the Costa Rican rainforest, a legend exists beneath the ancient canopy. Indigenous people refer to it as bala, which means bullet. It is rumored that just a single sting from this animal is so excruciating that it feels as if one has been shot with a gun. They say this creature is not only to be avoided, but feared by all who hear its name. Bala. Over the course of the past year, I have taken on the challenge of being stung by some of the planet's most notorious insects. It all began with harvester ants, a common species in the southwestern United States that hails as having the most toxic insect venom in the world. I took around 60 stings ah. and walked away, ah. mostly unscathed. Ah, they're all over my hands now, look at that. Ah. Ah, that was one on my neck. Next, I buried my hands into a nest of fire ants. The pain was like sticking your hands into a burning ring of fire. Ow, 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 oh! The aftermath, one of my biggest regrets, as my hands were swollen for a month and permanently scarred, even to this day. One would think I had gone far enough, and then we came upon the velvet ant. Famous for having the longest stinger in the world, it sent me into agonizing pain for nearly 30 minutes. Okay, let me get back here. You all right? What are you feeling? Go! Oh wow! My next challenge was the tarantula hawk, which is ranked as the second most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Here we go. so intense that it put me on the ground with my arm in a state of paralysis for nearly five minutes. John, I can't move my arm! I was ascending the sting pain index and I could see the peak of the mountain. It looked down at me with black beady eyes, an alien looking creature amongst all other animals, and a name that cast fear into the hearts of men. But before I could go flesh to stinger, first, we needed to find a bullet ain't. Today is Bullet Ant Challenge Day. I'm actually pretty excited about this. As long as we can find a bullet ant, I'm gonna get stung by one. So guys, keep your eyes peeled. These little ants can be anywhere. Well, I guess they aren't really little. They're probably about this big. So let's head down here into the rainforest and see if we can find one. All right. Believe it or not, Bullet ants are incredibly common on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica, and setting the stage for a sting was only going to take a single one. Seems simple. However, finding them can be quite the challenge, especially when dealing with some of the most difficult filming conditions we have ever faced. Oh boy, that is the disorienting thing about the rainforest. Everything looks the same no matter what direction you turn. Mario! Yeah, all right. Okay, found him. Ha! Got nervous there for a second. Let's keep going. For days we scoured the jungle, traversed rushing rivers, fought torrential rainfall, and sloshed through what seemed like an endless maze of mud. The goal was to find a creature no longer than a needle, and a haystack that literally spanned thousands of acres. It seemed as if all was lost, and finally, after several days of searching, the sun came out, and fate took its course. I just saw an ant up on the tree here. 
come up really slow, this might be a nest. You think you got a nest? I mean, the ground looks the same as it has in most of the jungle, but there's a hole here. I definitely saw a large ant moving up on the side of that, but before I just storm up there. Did you just see one or do you see I a saw few? one ant, one ant. But this looks like there's a hole right there. Where? You see that? This looks like it could be a nest. I don't see the hole. Can you point to it? Oh, I just saw There's, there's one coming out right there. Coming out. He's definitely right there. Let's see if I can get him on the stick. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, it's going right towards my hand. That is a bullet ant right there. Hold on, I'm just gonna put it in the container. Ah! Oh. Bart, watch out. Watch out. I think there's. You get one on me? I think so, man. I think they're swarming. We have definitely found a bullet ant nest. There's no question about it. Um, I was in there trying to get a single ant and they started swarming out. Okay, this just went from slightly dangerous to extremely dangerous because there was one crawled up on my hand and I got startled and I flicked it off of me. I need to go back and get the container. We need to get an ant. I'm shaking. I got one. Nope, it came off. I got one. I got one. Back up, back up, back up. It's going right towards my hand. Oh boy. It's attacking the tip of the stick. I'm going to put it down right here on the dirt. Yeah! Okay. Alright, I'm going to get it in this cup. Got it! Walked right in. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Holy yeah. cow! Oh my gosh! Hold on, wait, check your legs, check your legs. See anything, Mario? Oh. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good oh my gosh. Woo. <sighs> if I was that nervous just to catch the ant, I can't imagine how nervous I'm going to be to actually be stung by it. Oh, this is wild. All right, let's take the ant down here into a flatter area, get the scene under control. It's time to go through with the bullet ant challenge. Let's do it. Woo! Yes! Got all right. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We have caught a bullet ant and we have it in the glass capsule. And right now, Mark is filming the final macro shots. And I am two, yes, two minutes away from being stung by the insect that supposedly has the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Actually, seeing the bullet ant face to face. Coyote pack. It is unbelievably intimidating. I have a feeling that it is going to be unbelievably painful, but I am ready. Oh, this is it. We are here. This is Costa Rica, and that. Ladies and gentlemen, dare I say it, is one monster-sized bullet ant. All right, before we get into this, let's just go over some basic safety. For everybody out there watching, we have taken all the proper medical precautions. What we have right here is an epinephrine pen in case my body reacts negatively to the venom. Now, I will note that there are no reported cases of humans dying from the sting of a bullet ant. All right, Coyote, so what's the game plan? What are you thinking here? How are we going to get you stung by the bullet ant? Yeah, how are we going to get me stung by the bullet I love that question, Mark. I appreciate that. Um, okay, well, this one is very similar to the velvet ant. This is going to go down one of two ways. The first thing that we're going to try is I'm going to lift up the glass capsule, and then we're going to place it there. If it doesn't sting me like that, then I will use the forceps, where I will pick it up by its thorax, and just like the tarantula hawk, induce a sting. One way or another, there is no question about it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be stung by a bullet ant. All right, it's time. GoPro rolling. We are rolling. All right, now what I'm gonna do is tip up the glass capsule and then place the ant down onto my forearm. Here we go. Mark, your shot good? Are you sure about this? Yep, no turning back now. Mario, ready? Ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Ant on my skin. One. Two. This is it. No turning back. Three. 
ant is on my forearm. Look at that. Okay, it's just trying to climb out of the glass. I don't know if it's realized it's actually on my arm. It is looking a little bit agitated. I can feel the little legs grabbing onto my skin. And right now it is just trying to get out of the capsule. It's thinking, okay, something's new. It can probably sense the heat of my skin and also the smell of my skin. These ants can pick up different pheromones. We'll let it go a few seconds longer. And I think similar to the velvet ant, that this ant is gonna need to be held with forceps to induce a sting. Okay, I'm going to tip the glass capsule back up and get the ant under control. Are you ready? Yep. One. Two, control. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. <sighs> you alright? I cut the GoPro. I'm just going through your head right now. What was that like? I'm lightheaded. I'm lightheaded. Oh, the nerves that that takes, guys. When the ants were coming out of the nest, they were very, very angry. And I think at this point, the ant has calmed down and it's just thinking. Can I get out of this glass capsule? And I was not bitten, I was not stung. So what I'm gonna do now is use the forceps to pick up the ant, place it onto my forearm, and I'm going to take a sting. Here we go, are you ready? I'm ready. GoPro is rolling. Okay, I'm literally at the summit of the insect sting pain index. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the glass. <sighs> Ant is live, okay? It is out and active. I am going to now pick it up with the forceps. Got it. <sighs> there we go. That right there is a perfect hold right on the thorax. And wow, look at that. The stinger is already flying. Uh, does that give you enough space there, Mark, to be able to see the stinger as it goes into my arm? Yes, sir. We've got clear visibility on the abdomen. Here we go. I'm going to move the little wooden base out of the way. Glass capsule is right here in frame. Forearm on the table. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to take on the Bullet Ant Challenge. Are you ready? Let's do it. One. Two. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. Oh, it's stuck in my arm! It's stuck in my arm! Oh, the stinger is stuck in my arm, look at that! Okay, it's off, it's off, it's off! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You are right? Oh my god, it is really bad! Oh my gosh, I think it has the trench lock topped. You are right, man? Yep! Oh! Did you see that? The yeah. stinger was stuck into my forearm, right into the vein. There is the sting insertion point right there. Oh my gosh! It is like... Oh, it's hot! Oh, I can feel a venom already right in my forearm. Oh, it is! It's number one! Ah. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's burning more! It's getting worse! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Ah. Oh, my whole arm is getting really tight! Oh my gosh, Mark, put your arm out of here! Just tell them! Feel my forearm! Wow. Dude, it is like rock hard. I think it's spasming up the muscle. Now, the toxin that comes out of the sting of a bullet ant is a Panera toxin, which can cause you to hallucinate. So, I don't know how much venom actually went into my arm. All I know is that the stinger was in my forearm for a considerable amount of time. Ah, uh, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I think my, I think my, I think my neck is having a muscle spasm too. My whole muscle structure is like pounded right now. Ah, what is that? Okay, that's not good. Let's keep an eye on that. My neck is like stiffening up. My entire arm feels like it's having a spasm right now. Ah, ah, okay. Is it getting better or worse? No, it's worse. It's coming in waves of pain now. Ah, my gosh. It is, hold on. I'm super lightheaded, like super lightheaded. 
Do you need some water? <sighs> yeah, you're, you're like getting flushed. Your, your face is like turning red. And you're getting like puffy under your eyes. I'm sweating bullets right now. Bullets, bullets of sweat for the bullet ant. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay composed. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut the scene pretty quickly. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Okay, at the moment, I'm experiencing hot radiating waves of pain. It feels as if someone has stabbed me with a hot poker and I can actually feel the venom. It's throbbing. It's very similar to the bite of the Gila monster. When I was bitten by the Gila monster, it was intense pain and then it would reside and then it would return with a vengeance. This is, ah, At this point, the tarantula hawk was already done hurting. This is getting worse. This is getting worse. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this for 24 hours. <laughs> it pumped me full of venom. This is gonna be bad. It's one thing to get tagged and you know, to be, I got stung. It's another thing to be like, I was just hoping you got that shot mark where it was literally latched on and stinging me. Oh, I am sweating bullets right now. It is humid, but my body is on fire. It's been about 20 minutes since the sting. I look at my arm. It feels like it is on fire about up to my shoulder. Extremely painful right in that region. It's red, it is swollen. But I feel composed enough to give you guys a proper outro. Now they say that this pain is gonna last for 24 hours. And my goodness, if it does, I'm in for one wild day. But. I think it goes without question that the bullet ant sting is the most painful that I have faced thus far on the insect sting pain index. However, as some of you may know, there are whispers that there is possibly a more painful sting out there. The warrior wasp may challenge the bullet ant's claim at the peak of the insect sting pain index. Am I going to be willing to take on that challenge? Stay tuned and we'll find out. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, what a day. As we returned this legendary creature back to its colony, the insect was immediately greeted by the other ants. Like a soldier who had returned from a great battle and who would perhaps share its tale of the giant human, it had defeated with a single sting. And as I watched this fearless gladiator disappear into the darkness, from my perspective, I too felt as if I had defeated a giant. A giant ladder I challenged myself to climb that we have all come to know as the Insect Sting Pain Index. I am proud to say I made it and that when it comes to the most painful sting in the insect kingdom, so far, it definitely belongs to the bullet ant. It has been a long 24 hours. Now, they say that the bullet ant is the 24 hour ant. My arm is still sore today. Guys, look at my arm. I think that the venom actually scarred the skin right there. I don't know if you can see it on my face. I'm exhausted. Barely slept at all last night because my arm was just like pulsating. I could feel these hot waves of pain going through it. I guess we'll see where it's at in 48 hours. It's still stinging now. Legends are born from the stories we are told. And as they are passed down from generation to generation, they oftentimes become so grandiose, they are nearly impossible to believe. But when it comes to the legend of Bala, trust me when I say, the tales are true.